chill. Jesus. She looks no, pretty she good. Does. Does. You're, you're into that also? Look, why do you have to be She's so disgusting? No, When's the Silence! Now, is somebody gonna tell me what the hell is going on with greed and gluttony? Oh no, I haven't heard I mean, God. I, 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 uh, they, they, I they ran away. That's what we you were One to say. at a time, please. Sloth. What the hell's going on here? Look, all I know is everything's been quiet since they both left. Quiet? Tell that to my investors that are looking for their money back for that damn scheme. What scheme? I gave G&G $50 million to invest in some stupid get-rich pyramid scheme. Wait, you gave them money also? They got me for $10 million and all their online marketing. What? Oh, the sneaky little bastards! Oh, are those the forms I never sent back to Greed? Hold on. Are you telling me that myself and Envy are the only ones not involved in this? What are you talking about? It was his... his idea! Yes! One million followers. How's it going, guys? Envy? Can you please step away from that YouTube channel for one second and pay attention? Now, I believe you're about to enlighten us with the idea you gave Greed and Gluttony. Look, all I said is you can use online influence to get rich. It just took a little money to get started. Speaking of which, where the hell are those two? just about people wanting you. That's easy for you to say. You have this amazing company that I've only dreamt of. What pisses me off is the fact that they think they can run off and live these mortal lives. Wait, what? Yeah, Greed told me that she and Gluttony were in love and they were tired of being immortal and that it was the same thing in every age. That is so sweet. I always knew those two were in love with each other. But that doesn't matter, because we're immortal. It's our rings that give us our power, keep us alive. If they were to say, remove them, in theory, they would be mortals. Oh shoot, I knew I was forgetting something. I met Greed and Gluttony for dinner in April 2013. They told me they were done, and they gave me these. You have had these with you for seven freaking years? D damn it, Swap! Why didn't you say something sooner? I forgot. Sorry. So now Green and Gluttony are out doing their own thing. Have they no pride in what we do? The strings that hold the world together. Yeah, but it's actually kind of sweet and nice to leave us all behind and settle down. You know, to spend your last days with someone who truly loves you. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but do you realize how much added stress to my job those two are gonna do now that they're out of the picture? <laughs> Anger, calm down, okay? I will fix this. Well, Brian, maybe there's nothing to fix. It's time to just stop and live. Les is right. We've been doing this for over a millennia. I'm tired of all of this. 
Just shut up, Envy. You don't know what's good for us. Oh, pride. Stop giving him a hard time. Well, maybe if you would take some pride in his damn job. It's okay, Les. I'm not pretty surprised being proud. Okay, look. I am done. I am done with this bullshit! I'm done with being angry! Do you know how many therapists I've seen? How many yoga classes I've been to? So what the hell? We all just giving up? Come on, Brad. Look what you've accomplished. You have this amazing company that you built from the ground up. Yeah. That is pretty nice. I mean, what more could you accomplish? Look what you did with Jesus. Nailed it. I was going for a love by neighbor. Look, love and lust is your thing, not mine. But I do get it. I just don't know if I'm ready to be mortal. I don't understand. What more is there to accomplish? Wouldn't it be nice to just sit back and be proud of all that you've built? Look, bro. Take it from me. When's enough ever going to be enough? We can just step away now. It's been a long ride. Okay, I get it. Maybe it's time to make a change. Peace out, we're out of food. Should Greed and Gluttony be the only ones that get to relax and enjoy the rest of their lives together? But I've never been without my pride. You will never be without your pride. You're the most confident person I've ever met. I think it's time to put an end to this whole immortal stick. Find love and settle down. Okay, I'll give it a shot, but only because I think it's what's best for all of us. See? I told you. All we had to do was convince greed and gluttony to leave first, and the rest would follow. You know, without our, our rings, we can be normal. Now that I no longer have my powers, you're probably not interested. You've always been enough. Stupid do they think I am.
accomplish so much beyond that. Look what you did with Jesus. Nailed it.